Okay, everybody, we're talking about asymmetrical pull-ups. The fourth corrective that I have for you, we've already identified this problem and we've talked about what's going on. Um, we're just gonna measure how well you're doing the pull-ups after we try to fix some of the stuff you got going on. The fourth one that I wanna talk about is a lot more challenging, I think, than the other ones. I would give the first three, maybe four weeks of every day training because that get I got something in my throat. Hold on. <coughs> mm. I would give everyday training for four weeks probably um, before I really worried about trying other stuff. Those first three exercises are really good and might be enough. Um, but if you do need more, a nice way to kind of progress it is a half kneeling cable push. So half kneeling just means one knee's on the ground, one knee is up and the foot is flat. Um, big thing that people do is, to mess this up, because I'm talking about negative things before I tell you why this is good. <laughs> big thing that people do <laughs> to mess this up is they treat it like, like a, uh, I don't even want to say like a quad stretch, but they try to really stretch their back out and stretch their, uh, so ass muscle out and that just doesn't do anything that I want it to do so don't do it that way <coughs> it's still in there what instead I want you to do is I want a straight line from head through shoulder through mid back through hip through knee all the way down that's kneeling on the ground and then I want your hips to kind of tuck, to roll back. Just like the, the rock back exercise that we did in step two, you've got to do the same motion because that allows my abdominals to turn on and it allows me to inhibit the hip flexor. And so those hip flexors, especially on the left side, are going to be trying to turn you away from the position we're trying to turn you into. Those hip flexors on the left side are feeding the asymmetry in your pull up. So we need to address those as well. Well, we probably need to address those at least. Um, yes, this is a good one because if I can do that, I can then secure myself over on that side and then I can teach myself how to take the handle. Um, just for clarification, I like to do it with the knee down on the ground. That hand is the one that's holding the, the cable, the weight. And then, I'm going to keep myself turned over to that side and then I'm going to push away. OK, I'm not trying to turn around so much. I'm not trying to list or lean a whole lot. I'm just trying to say with my nose over my you know, knee that's down on the ground and then I'm pushing away. You should feel pretty killer ab. Um, and one thing that I really want you to focus on, especially if you're, you know, you're watching this video because you have asymmetrical pull-up problems, what you need to do is you need to scrunch up that left side. And you probably saw that coming, but all we're trying to do now is take the, the positions that we've taught you in the first three exercises and now give them to you in more challenging scenarios. And a really challenging one, but you know, kind of isolated, is this half kneeling cable push. So I'm kneeling on the ground, I tuck my hips, I turn myself over to the left way more than I feel like I should, and I scrunch that side up, and then I can push to reach away. I try to make my arm as long as I can, and then whew, I might even exhale to get the air out, and then I can feel some of the muscles that I want to turn on, turn on a little bit more. If you have that tightness in the back of your shoulder, you might actually feel it start to stretch out a little bit because your shoulder blade is starting to move and that muscle can start to relax. Um, lots of good stuff going on there. There's, there's a lot of videos about half kneeling cable pushes, but I would do it that very specific way because I think those little details matter a lot.